honestly, guys, I am just so speechless at this point. I believe an event like this happens every other day now. And to be honest with you, I think this is the year 2019 where Twitch ultimately falls to the competitor known as Mixer. Like I said, something like this happens so frequently now that it just makes me feel like it's inevitable that Twitch ultimately fails and a lot of the audience on Twitch does move to the other platform. I would like to call this another episode in the series known as females living in tutorial mode. As my man Birdman has once said, these females are living on recruit difficulty, but I would even take it one step further to say they're living in tutorial mode. Yes, they're living in their very own bubble, they can do absolutely no wrong, and they don't get penalized for what they say or do on the Twitch platform. And this is just another event, and it is a little bit more serious, even though the title and everything and the way I started this video does come off as funny, or at least I'm trying to be, it is kind of serious what she did say. Now, before we even talk about her, I think we need to talk about Twitch's track record. As you guys know about the whole Alinity situation, and if you don't, I'm going to quickly debrief you. Basically, this female Twitch thought known as Alinity has done a variety of different things that not only constitute as illegal acts, but also go against the Twitch platform. So she's thrown her cat behind her head, which got her a lot of attention and probably more subscribers and followers than the other intention, which was to actually deplatform her. But on top of that, she actually has done something also way more serious than that, which is feed her cat vodka. She literally let her cat lick vodka from her mouth and the cat showed some violent twitches, I would like to say. And if you guys don't know, vodka and alcohol alike are basically poisonous to cats, 100% poisonous. I'm surprised the cat didn't actually get seriously sick from this situation. But like I said, we probably don't know all the details. So Basically, with that being said, she's also even constituted some type of illegal act by deliberately saying on Twitch that she married somebody for Canadian citizenship, which is definitely illegal. And she received absolutely no ban, no type of suspension for her actions, not even one type of penalization. I don't even know if that's a word, but we're going to make it a word today. So with that being said, she has not gotten in trouble whatsoever. And on top of that, Twitch is also in some, I would say, popularity trouble compared to the competitor known as Mixer. If you guys don't know, Mixer bought out one of the biggest streamers known as Ninja. And now Ninja has a million subscribers and I think a little less than a million concurrent viewers and they are a huge audience, basically people moving from Twitch to Mixer, which is pretty concerning. I think Twitch should definitely be concerned from this scenario. We could easily see more people moving to Mixer based off of Ninja's actions. We could see people going there because there is an audience to be had. And ultimately, I think Twitch could definitely fail from these situations already known. But there's another female Twitch streamer that is also living in tutorial mode today. And I don't even know how to say her name. I'm just going to make it up and say her name is Aramanth. Um, and she basically streams on Twitch. She gets a decent amount of subscribers, nothing too crazy. But she said something very, very racist on the platform. And she is not getting any type of ban or punishment as I'm recording this video. So let's roll the tape. Can we get some uh, potty on the ethnic aisle? I guess I have that nigger store too now. Ramen egg, no, on some ethnic aisle. I, I really don't even know what to say at this point. I, I really don't know how Twitch has not done something immediately. And to be honest with you, I hate to say it, I hate to be that guy, but if the situations were flipped and this was a guy saying this on the platform, I can almost 100% guarantee you that they would be banned within the first half an hour that the certain person has said this. So the fact that a female said this, and she's actually live right now on the platform in the just chatting section, just makes me believe that Twitch is, just doesn't care at this point. They're going to let anything go because 
the whole business aspect revolving around Twitch e-girls is because these, I guess, virgin males that just are not woke yet don't believe that, you know, they can't possibly sleep with these girls. If they donate, they believe they could get in bed with them in no time. So they constantly donate to these Twitch ethots such as Alinity and Amaranth. And basically, the Twitch platform is getting money from all of these donations from these little boys that think they can sleep with any girl on Twitch. And that's why they're not getting banned. They're not getting penalized for these certain situations and things that have totally gone against Twitch terms of service. This is honestly just as bad as Alinity feeding her cat vodka, if not worse. This is full on, she said, the hard R for, and this is constitutes as 100% racism for what she said. And what makes me believe that she actually did say the hard R because people are trying to defend her and say, oh, she didn't say that. She said grocery store. I'm just going to play the tape for you one more time so you can hear it for yourselves. I guess I have that nigger store too now. Ramen egg and the I guess I have that nigger store too now. Ramen egg and the She did not say grocery store. This is full on the hard R, the N word. And it really just blows my mind that people are trying to defend this. Probably the virgin boys that are donating to her have a crush on her. But, I mean, I really don't know what to say. This is not okay at all. This goes against the terms of service. And like I said, the fact that Twitch is not banning her is just another slap in the face to the audience. It totally 100% constitutes what Twitch is nowadays. And I just, I really don't know what else to say. It's, it's quite disturbing that Twitch hasn't done anything. It's quite disturbing that this female said what she said without any type of repercussions. And I just don't know, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know if I should just exclusively stream on Mixer from now on, on my main platform. I might actually just delete my Twitch altogether. This is not okay. And for the people that say, oh, the guys are jealous that the e-girls are getting all of this attention, well, I mean, if the situations were flipped and, you know, a guy threw a cat behind his head, a guy fed his cat vodka, a guy said the N-word with the hard R in a very racist remark, um, they would be banned immediately. So the fact that these females are not getting banned because of the high donations that they receive from their audience and concurrent viewers just establishes what Twitch is and what their identity is nowadays. It has nothing to do with, you know, fairness. It has nothing to do with, you know, just being a gaming streaming platform anymore. It has nothing to do with that. It's basically this, I would say, soft porn type of platform where you have a bunch of virgin boys just donating to a bunch of girls and the girls can say and do whatever they want and Twitch won't do absolutely anything about it why even have a twitch terms of service if you're not going to back it up twitch it really blows my mind there's rumors going around that some of these twitch e-girls are sleeping with some of the executives and corporate people on the platform and i wouldn't be surprised also twitch has a lot of i would say problems regarding you know being cheap with certain streamers i've mentioned before in one of my previous videos how ethan klein essentially was trying to stream on twitch but then you know they wanted to basically give him special treatment which he said an okay to because he did some certain things that were, that were against twitch terms of service and he did not get banned and on top of that, they wanted him to stream a certain amount of hours, and they wanted to also nickel and dime him on his salary or whatever type of money they were giving him under the contract, and he just wasn't having that. So he basically backed away, but he admitted on his podcast that there is definitely double standards and special treatment for certain people on Twitch. So I guess we can just add this girl to the list. She is 100% living in tutorial mode, and I mean, it just... It just is a very bad situation for Twitch. Uh, there might be an update to this video. If there is, I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, she is live on Twitch. She has not been penalized. She is definitely not running into any situations in terms of a ban or any type of repercussions. And that's just where we're at right now. It's really disturbing that there's even people like this in the world, not let alone people streaming this type of information and racist remarks 
on a very popular platform and the fact that people are defending her the fact that she even has an audience and people that are subscribed to her are also pretty disturbing i would definitely unsub unfollow her if you do so right now uh because she said something very racist and that is just unacceptable in the 21st century so i hope you all did enjoy this video don't forget to drop a like if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button we just surpassed 3,000 subscribers and i do appreciate all the love and support and hey maybe even share this video with another person or friend that maybe is just totally against twitch nowadays this is just another thing to add to the list i'm cryptics not saying any type of racist remarks on Twitch and getting special treatment for it. And I'm signing off.